the one day his woman ran off with another guy, hit young Rocky in the eye. Rocky didn't like that. He said, I'm going to get that boy. And one day... Hey, Ro- yeah. we're filming. Oh. Hi, folks. Welcome back to Pop Pop Fizzle. I'm Jeff. I'm Heidi. And we are here to look at another trailer, this time for a new movie from 20th Century Fox called The Hate You Give. Uh, I ran across this trailer the other day, but I didn't pull it for us to watch. Um, I think because we were short on time, um, oh. so I just kind of saved this one for now. So we're going to jump in, we're going to watch this, we're going to tell you what we think about it, and then they can hop into the comments. Tell us what they think about it. You think they're listening? Maybe. I hope so. Anyway, we're going to do that right now with you. Here we go. something my godson Elijah and little girl named Corinne. Man, you coming at me for my music, but you listen to this old stuff. Old oh, stuff? What? You better get up out of here with all that pockets of truth. Well, I got a boyfriend. Yeah, I heard, but it's all good. Really? We've been together our whole lives, Star. We got time. My name is Star. Two R's. Daddy named me that. Garden Heights. Mama and Daddy says our life is here, because our people are here. We got Mr. Ruben's Barbecue, Mr. Lewis's Barbershop, and Daddy's Store. The high school is where you go to get junk, high, or pregnant. We don't go there. Williamson is another world, so when I'm here, I'm Star version 2. Yo, those kids are lit! Basically, Williamson Star doesn't give anyone a reason to call her ghetto, and I hate myself for doing it. Until the weekend comes around. I get those goosebumps every time. What's up? Where you been at? Man, I know you be hanging with all the white kids. Shut up. when you not around, when you go that Out of the car. Yo, stop. You okay? Go back where he told you. Khalil, I'm not playing. Go back where... <laughs> what did you do? Today, Garden Heights is reeling after the shooting of a 17-year-old black teenager by a white police officer. We live in a complicated world. It doesn't seem that complicated to me. Violence, brutality. It's the same story, just a different name. When I attack with impact, it's real tech. For the back cat, when it is set, debated to... It's best if she don't talk to five He's threatening her. It's about more than just color. It's about black people, poor people, everybody at the bottom. I need to speak for him. You think we can never achieve the inconceivable. We don't belong, but we hear unbelievable. When you're ready to talk, you talk. Don't ever let nobody make you be quiet. I ain't named you Star by accident. First things first, very topical. Of course, yeah. Yeah. And I I think that just the notion, the... I haven't read the book, so no, I can't speak about I that. I didn't even know that this was a thing until we popped this, until Jeff popped this up, so we yeah. can watch this. But I think the notion of being caught between two worlds and being, um, seeing the good and bad of both sides of things and seeing where real injustice is versus perceived or versus, um, you know, there's a lot of talk. There's a lot of things that everybody can be upset about, but to have someone who sees a broader picture, most of us don't ever get as broad a picture um, as, as as this character seems to have. Um, I'm curious because the trailer obviously doesn't want to give us the whole movie, and it also doesn't want to um, give us the resolution. So we see a lot of... Well, I would wonder if they would leave off in the way that there isn't a resolution yet. So, right. because we don't know what the story is, we haven't re- read it, as topical as this is, and this point in time in history, there is no re- resolution, right, at this time. So, right. there there may be that sort of question mark that happens Yeah, so I'm, so, I'm curious as to I'm how, it will, curious. how it will play out, because I think with this type of movie and with the topic that you're looking at, it would be really easy to... To either make people, you know, make characters on both sides caricatures of, Mm -hmm. you know, in order to serve whatever you're trying to say with the piece. But it would also be very easy to, in your attempt to tell your story, to tell, um, to get the theme across that you inadvertently step into, you know, a a pothole here, a pothole there. Um, 
that's why I think when you're tackling these subjects, it's really important to um, be careful um, how they're approached. This seems to be like it's giving a really broad spectrum of experience because of her character and because of where she's come and how she, uh, and, and where she's been and how she's approaching all of this. So I'm curious to see how it plays out in her mind because as, as a character who's a young character, um, you know, sometimes wisdom comes with age um, and sometimes we need uh, character, you know, characters, not even characters, but sometimes in the real world we need people that may not have the wisdom of age but still, because of their youth, see something that we adults have missed have or, missed or because, because of the, you know, the droning of the media or the whatever. Mm-hmm. So it's interesting to see a movie tackling this and it seems so easy for it to go the wrong way in one direction or another. So I'm curious as to how it will balance mm-hmm. that. Um, and really, depending on what the message is and what the audience is and what they're shooting for, you they may, may not be striking for a balance. They may, may be striking just to tell right. one side over the other. And you but may, we won't but, know until yeah, we see Yeah, you may come away with different... Different people may come away with different ideas of what yeah. the message was and supposed I, to be. I personally like movies that don't give easy answers because I don't think there are any in life. And I usually, if a movie gives me a pat answer, it just feels like that. It feels like... Mm-hmm. You know, we're going to wrap this up in a nice way so you feel good on your drive home. And I don't think this is the kind of movie that necessarily should have that kind of And it, I don't think it will, honestly. Right. So uh, I'm very curious. This looks like it's going to be very intriguing. It's going to get a lot of people talking. Like I said, very topical. Yeah. So it is coming out in October of this year, 2018. So yeah. um, looking forward to seeing the buzz around it. And, you know, if they're trying for some awards, maybe. Uh, whether they yeah, are this, or this aren't. Has that, this has that feeling um, mm-hmm. Um, that it could have um, some really breakout performances, some really mm-hmm. standout performances. Absolutely. Um, so this may be one to keep an eye on um, yeah, absolutely. In, in the future. Yeah, yeah so, so All right, so those are our thoughts on The Hate You Give. Uh, I didn't catch that The Hate You Give was thug until they did that with the I, thing at the end. I didn't either. And the thing is, I was actually really prepared to be really down on the not using proper English, you know, like as far as you know, you, like, kind of, like, right, text using speak. Right, textless, yeah. Yeah, so, title. but, you know, what, it, like, almost immediately. I don't like it when song titles do that either. But, uh, yeah. Not, but that's just me. So, but immediately when we got into it, I was like, okay, I can get over that because that's just a silly thing to be, have a, have a nitpick over, uh, and that might be the, how the title of the book is. So, right, and I, and, and I, I think and it I also, the, I think it also points a finger to the fact that when people are upset about injustice, sometimes there's a tendency either in the media or outside of the community that's most affected uh, having a tendency to think, well, they're acting out and that's, you know, that's thug behavior, that's criminal behavior, when sometimes it's just a reaction to... Injustice. And I'm not excusing violence, and I don't like violence no matter where it's coming from or how it's directed. I think there's always a call to be civil, but sometimes in the moment, you're not thinking that. And so, and I think it's easy for people outside of the situation to write that off as, mm-hmm. as thuggish behavior. So I think it's an interesting title. I'm curious how they'll play that out. Yeah. So those are our thoughts. You hop into the comment section and let us know what you think. Um, and then we can discuss it there. Uh, as always, be nice. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and if there's another trailer that comes out, we'll hit that one too. And we'll let you know what we think about that one. Yep. If you like this video, hit that sharing. thumbs up. Yep. And consider subscribing to the channel. If you're already subscribed, hit that bell icon so you can be notified the next time we do one of these. Until the next time. Bye. Bye.